Hello everybody, I hope you are having a great time wherever you are. Uh, today I decided to come out in the back garden of my property and um, make this video, but suddenly <laughs> all hell <laughs> got loose. <laughs> the, the helicopters were running around uh, our um, space and, and the school kids up the hill across our uh, property came out to their yard started screaming and running around making noise and of course you have that neighbor with a small uh, piece of garden uh, with some grass that he wants to mow 48 times a day and he came out mowing and trimming he might start again well, I don't know he might have finished but Thankfully, the helicopter has disappeared and, and he's stopped mowing, but the kids are still there. Screaming, you probably can hear them in the background. Nevertheless, we press on forgetting what is behind. Satan is at work and we should do our work. Last time, uh, I made that video about the death of uh, the woman in the palace, uh, whom you know. Um, and I made the title of the video something like as I had prophesied uh, do not be deceived then in the video I was referencing my uh, one of my past videos but there were more than one in the past that I had referenced um, to her uh, death coming uh, and and that she had already died anyway uh, and I have made the reference to that video in that last video and in the previous videos also I had made references that she's already gone uh, at that time <coughs> meaning uh, they had kept it quiet and secret uh, but in the video also I uh, talked about uh, mobiles, MSM devices, Satan's devices and um, EMF signals and all that. And a couple of people made a comment, uh, what is that to do with uh, her death? Well, uh, to start with, the whole thing was a deception because it was kept a secret for quite a long time and so uh, now the announcement of it only means one thing that uh, that's to me anyway um, it only means that there are a big shift of power is taking place not the one that you can see from her to her son but Behind the scenes, also uh, there are shifts of power uh, and um, struggles. And that is that is why uh, they kept it so long to to announce. Once it's announced, that means they have now decided what to do, uh, and uh, some uh, something has taken place something has happened that they now feel comf comfortable to announce it or uh, it is the time to do that uh, because of other things that's happening so it is all to do with what's happening behind the scene basically nothing to do with what you see on the surface that is a deception the deception comes through the media through msm through your devices satan's devices better to say not your devices they're not yours they're not mine they are satan's and that was the point so if you can't see the relationship i'm sorry but that was the relationship and so i thought um, i read a passage of scripture today from timothy chapter 3 so if you like to open your bibles and um, second timothy chapter 3 and uh, I read from 
the beginning but mark this there will be terrible times in the last days and, and we are in the last days uh, and I said we cannot predict when it can happen and when it will happen uh, we are in the last days uh, this can be still a few years um, before uh, we see the end of the world as we know it uh, before the, the coming of Christ there can be still quite a few years before we see Christ coming on the clouds but it can be tomorrow and I explained that in my uh, previous videos no one can tell no one can predict no one and if if they are doing that uh, I, I would suggest you stay away from them because they, they, you cannot be a true prophet of God and say uh, you know exactly when it's going to happen when Christ is going to come you can say we are at the last days but even 2000 years ago uh, Jesus said uh, the Antichrist is coming and he is already the spirit of Antichrist is already here and you know the end is right at hand so all those things uh, all those signs have already happened uh, one thing no one can be sure of is the number of martyrs that have to be fulfilled uh, and because of that no one can tell now you can go and make stories about earthquakes here and there and flooding here and there and, and uh, the sky falling down and, and the meteors coming down uh, all that just means the beginning of the childbirth pain uh, so let me read on again but mark this there will be terrible times in the last days we are in the terrible days people will be lovers of themselves can you not see people walking past with their <laughs> mobiles or cell phones or their iPads or Satan's devices in their hands just staring at the screen not caring about what you say even your family members just staring at the screen scrolling it up and down the family is gone the love is gone love of many will grow cold it has already happened it's not tomorrow it's not going to happen it has already happened people will be lovers of themselves they take selfies they're so full of themselves mindful of themselves the child is crying mommy 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 and she's thinking of taking a selfie you know that is the same lovers of money boastful proud abusive disobedient to their parents parents what obedience what respect they don't even have a clue what respect means of course I don't mean 100% of people if that was so then I wouldn't be making this video and you wouldn't be watching me you're watching this because you're a child of God you're watching this because you have been obedient and respectful of your parents or you wouldn't have learned about the things of God you wouldn't have even the discernment to stay tuned and watch this video even up to this minute you would have shut it down so the fact that you are in the right place and you have that conscience that discernment that spirit in you that just tells me you have been respectful of your parents 
you have been respectful of God who created you and put your parents before you to raise you, to educate you, to teach you. Which is the reason why I always pray. I always pray and thank God for my parents. My dad passed away last September and to this day I, I, I'm, I'm grieving every day. Uh, but to me, my dad is very much alive and will stay alive for as long as there is a breath in me. And I always respected him and I respect my mother. And thank God that God put them before me. I wouldn't have been who I am, where I am, what I am, without them. If your children don't know that, don't know that fact, then they need to be taught that fact. That is because of you that they are even in this world. It's because of you that they are or can be children of God. They're born into a family of God. They have an advantage. They have a privilege. At least they have the opportunity to become and called a child of God. Then the rest is up to them. Lovers of money, boastful, proud, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, without love. They don't know what love is. When you talk about love, they just think lost. They just think Hollywood love. That's not what the Bible is talking about. Without love. This love is the love that Christ had for you. He died for you while you were still a sinner. He was crucified in my place. Me, the guilty one, who deserve the crucifixion. That will probably apply to you too. The grace that we received, but we didn't deserve. None of us deserve it. Without love, unforgiving, good heaven, you only need to do something wrong to this new generation. Even the old generation, it's not about the generation, it's about this generation of human being I'm talking about. You know, my wife is worried about humanoids and I keep saying, well, they're already here. They've been here for a long time. Look at them. They look and act like robots. They don't need to actually manufacture humanoids. They have made the humans robots. They act, behave, talk, walk and, and dress and do things like robots. They do what they're told. They wear what they are told to wear. They eat what they're told to eat. They drink what they're told to drink. They don't think, they don't use this upstairs. There is no upstairs. They turn into zombies. You only need to look at them the wrong way. Will they forgive you? Oh no, there is no forgiveness. Slanderous, without self-control, just said that. They have no control because this up here is switched off. It's been submitted to Satan and all his devices. They're being controlled and they don't even know it. That's the sad thing about it.
without self-control, brutal, not lovers of the good. You know, good is God. Jesus says, there is no good but God. Not lovers of the good. Treacherous, rash. They have no patience. Conceited, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. Having a form of godliness but denying its power. They have a form of godliness. They look nice on the appearance. They are washed, whitewashed tombs, like Jesus says. Whitewashed tombs, like Jesus said to the Pharisees. On the appearance, they look nice. They do nice things. They say nice things. But they are not. Inside, ferocious wolves they are. Have nothing to do with such people. Have nothing to do with them. You know, tell them about Christ. Knock at their door. Tell them about Christ. And, and when I say knock at the door, I mean not literally knocking at their door. I, I, I don't like that. That's not my ministry. I mean knocking at the door of their heart. Knock at their door. Knock at their heart. Gently tell them about Christ. Give them the gospel. If they receive it, good. If they don't, shake your sandals and have nothing to do with them. They can be your family members. They can be your relatives. They can be your colleagues. They can be anyone have nothing to do with them because they'll bring you down and further down in the same chapter 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 12 reads in fact everyone who wants to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will be persecuted so this is this is a promise this is a prophecy this is not something you can escape and people think persecution means jail and flogging not necessarily in some sometimes yes and 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 I don't mean in some far off countries no it happens right here right where you are I don't care where you are it happens in every country that jailing and persecution and uh, torture but also it happens in different forms you're persecuted in your workplace as soon as they know you're a child of God uh, in in your circle even in your family you could be persecuted by being mistreated uh, by um, casting you out of their circle, their family, you know, uh, sanctioning you, basically isolating you. These are all kinds of uh, persecutions. So there, there are various different kinds of persecution. It's not just one way. Uh, when, when you're not doing what the rest is doing, you'll be persecuted. Look, I, I go to a bank and they say, do you have this mobile app, our mobile app? I say no. And, and they look at me like I, I'm weird or, you know, I, I'm so old fashioned or from Stone Ages and I don't know what's, what's what. And, and they say, do you want any, any assistance? We can help you install an app. No, I, I'm quite capable of installing an app. It takes two seconds to do so. I don't want it. I don't want your spying um, apps on my mobile. I, want, I don't want to help you to build a stepping stone towards your next goal, next agenda. I don't want to be contributing to that. 
That's why. But you can't say these things to them. You have to be uh, very diplomatic and polite. So anyway, uh, that is the kind of persecution. Uh, some places, they don't even allow you to buy things without a mobile or, or do certain things. Even some banks. You have to have a mobile app a mobile to begin with and a mobile a smart mobile not a normal old-fashioned mobile or, uh, and, and, and their app on it installed then you might be able to do certain things and, and they're trying to expand that further and further but I as one child of God will not contribute to that and I want you to be the same not contribute to those things. Don't be gullible. Don't be naive and just take things like, well, everybody's doing it, I might as well do it. No, you count. They have sensors everywhere. They take poles from everything. You know this woman in the palace died? You know how many countries celebrated? You know BBC shut down their comment uh, for, for certain channels that they have so people wouldn't comment because they were so they were getting so nasty naming hair all sorts of things but did you get to know any of that they won't tell you any of that and lots of their I would say colonies but they say Commonwealth countries. They want to cut ties. Why didn't they want to do that before? Why is it just happening or being suddenly exposed now? Because it's the season. And that's why I say the fact that they now announce the big day, as they call it, and then big dark day, then that means to me that certain things have shifted in the background has happened it could be for good it could be for worse but we don't know uh, as I said I'm not a political analyzer if I were I wouldn't be saying these things to you probably anyway let's read on again from verse 12 in fact Everyone who wants to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will be persecuted, while evildoers, while evildoers and impostors will go from bad to worse, deceiving and being deceived. And that was what I'd written there, do not be received, that title. This refers to that deceiving and being deceived. I don't want you to be deceived, man or woman. I don't want you to be deceived, my brother, my friend. The less they're deceived, uh, the less can give in to their uh, schemes and plans. The less will play their game or games. They'll go from bad to worse, deceiving and being deceived. Some on the top usually are deceiving and the ones at the bottom are the ones who are being deceived. Well, the, the, the guy who is mowing 48 times a day started again. In 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11 reads, lest, lest Satan should get an advantage over us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. The devices that we are using are Satan's devices. Be mindful of them. At least do not be ignorant of them. As saints, as children of God, you have to be aware of them and certainly not ignorant of them so Satan will not take an advantage over you 
let me say a prayer for you and your family Heavenly Father we come before your throne we throw ourselves on your mercy seat that you may have mercy on us on our family members on our father and our forefathers wash us with the blood of Jesus Christ cleanse us and give us a heart of flesh where you have written your laws thank you Lord for for accepting us before your throne allowing us to come to the Holy of Holies in the spirit thank you for people who are watching this video right now thank you thank you for them and theirs Heavenly Father be with us give us the spirit of wisdom knowledge heavenly wisdom heavenly knowledge and peace that surpasses all understanding give us the spirit of discernment so we can discern the spirit the spirit of true prophets and false prophets the spirit of evil and evildoers and uh, the spirit of the ones who are your children the spirit of Antichrist let us know and discern and not be deceived let us not be deceived by their devices let us not be deceived by their words by their actions by their appearance in Jesus name Heavenly Father thank you for everything that you've done in our lives thank you for bestowing mercy love and kindness upon our lives do not take away any of the blessings you've given us O oh Lord but enable us to multiply the blessings you've given us in Jesus name thank you thank you Lord thank you for watching us and thank you for being with us today remember this is my wife's YouTube channel my ministry's YouTube channel has been struck down but if you want to support us you can go to our ministry site jesusministries.co.uk there are various ways to support us or read the description at the bottom of this video God bless you and be with you in Jesus name Amen and Amen until next time goodbye